Red Hand today is on the back of the sand dunes at James Price's Point, just on the uh, southern end, about a half a kilometre from the actual point. And I just want to ha give you a, a little walk today through what I would say is a very classic rain, uh, remnant rainforest, also known as monsoon vine thickets. I just want to show you the large eucalyptus papawans, there's the white eucalyptus trees that you can see in the background. These are unusual in a vine thicket, but in this particular area there's quite a community of them. And uh, so yeah, I'll just take you for a little walk through the vine thicket and uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'd just like you to take particular note of the bird sounds and what you can hear in the background is the ocean. I don't actually know what's happened in here, but you can see that there's a survey peg that's been laid down here. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but... So I've been walking north, uh, following a dingo's tracks on the back of the Holocene sand dune here at James Price's Point to give you an understanding of the vine thickets and, uh, and the density in which these, these thickets are incredibly shady and cool under here. But what I, when I came down here to film this, uh, guess what I found? Yes, I found a, another survey peg. This is the second one I've found was in the last 50 metres and I'm really curious now what these survey pegs are actually doing in here. But anyway, just enjoy this beautiful little vine thicket. We're still on the back of the uh, Holocene sand dunes approximately half a kilometre from actual James Price's point. I'm just giving you a pan over the vine thicket that's nestled directly behind the Holocene sand dunes. Now this Holocene sand dune, as you can see, is quite eroded out. It's what you call blown out. And as you can see, as it's sweeps through here in front of us. This is the actual blowout. And then it's actually starting to fringe into the fine thicket itself. So this is a very fragile environment and you can see that nature also has difficulties dealing with the erosion and the winds that come off the Indian Ocean here. These Holocene dunes were basically built by those winds and they, uh, they can be quite ferocious at times. It's just some of the sparse vegetation that you can see is actually clinging to the ridges of these dunes. There's some large pedalarises, some jiggles. They're all trying basically to keep the sand dune stable in some way. So again, we're about a kilometre from James Price's point and we're looking east down into the remnant rainforest or also known as a vine thicket.